With ViewMate Pro, you can edit your data in many ways. Most editing operations require that you first select the elements that you want to edit. This tutorial will show you several ways to select elements using ViewMate Pro. There are three basic ways to select data. With the selection tool active, click near an element to select it. With the selection tool active, drag a window around some elements to select them. Use global selection to select all elements that meet your selection criteria. We have a four layer board loaded into ViewMate Pro. Let's work on selecting some elements using the selection tool. To activate the selection tool, click on select and then click on selection tool. Note that the shortcut for this is S. Note also that the S command is a toggle command. If you press S when the selection tool is inactive, then it will become active. If you press S while the selection tool is active, then it will become inactive. You can also make the selection tool inactive by pressing the escape key. Ensure that the selection tool is active. When the selection tool is active, you will see a small selection icon next to the cursor. Make only the top copper layer visible. To do this, right click on the top copper layer name and then click on only this visible. Zoom up in the area shown. You can do this by moving the cursor to the area of interest and pressing page up several times, or you can use the mouse wheel to zoom up. Note that you can press the end key on your keyboard to center the display at the current cursor location. Click in various places. Note how ViewMate Pro selects a single element whenever you click. ViewMate Pro will select the closest element that meets your selection criteria. By default, ViewMate Pro will restrict selections to the currently active layer and will select whichever element is closest to the cursor. That element could be a pad, a trace, a polygon, or simply whatever is closest to the cursor. Note that ViewMate Pro will give you some information about the selected elements in the status line. You can get additional info about the selected items by right-clicking and selecting View Selection Properties. Note that the shortcut for this is Alt-Shift-Enter. After reviewing the information, click on OK to dismiss the dialog. If a single element is selected, then the decode of the selected element will be displayed here. With the selection tool active, you can select multiple elements by dragging a window around the elements. You can restrict the types of elements that are selected by setting up your selection criteria. The selection criteria is determined by a combination of factors. There are three check boxes and one combo box that you configure to establish your selection criteria. To limit your selection to elements that are only on the current layer, ensure that the only current layer checkbox is checked. If the only current decode checkbox is checked, then only elements with a decode that matches the active decode will be selected. If the only current net checkbox is checked, then only elements that match the active net name will be selected. You can further restrict your selection criteria by making a selection from the Select Pick combo box. The default Select Pick combo box item is Any, indicating that any element can be selected. If you make another selection from the combo box, then element selection will be restricted accordingly. Your final selection criteria is defined by a combination of all four items. The only current layer, only current decode, only current net checkboxes, and the selected item in the select pick combo box. Set your selection criteria as follows. 
Check the only current layer checkbox. Uncheck the only current decode checkbox. Uncheck the only current net checkbox. Select pads from the select pick combo box. Now click near the same elements as before. Note that now only pads will be selected. Drag a window around some elements. Note that only pads are selected. Click to select a rectangular pad. Note that it has a decode of D11. Check the only current decode checkbox. Now when you click near an element, it will only be selected if it is on the current layer it is a pad, and if the pad decode is D11. Drag a window as before. Note that only the rectangular pads are selected. Press the Home key to display the entire board. You can make a global selection by clicking on the Global Select icon or by pressing the V key. Note that in this case, all of the pads on the top copper layer with a decode of D11 are selected. You can clear the global selection by clicking on the Clear Selection icon or by pressing Ctrl U. Uncheck the Only Current Decode checkbox. Press V to perform a global selection. Now all pads on the top copper layer are selected. This concludes the Selecting Elements tutorial. You can watch the next tutorial by clicking on the button below.